Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe and today I want to take a look at starting a YouTube channel or the things you would need to do to start a YouTube channel. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. First, obviously you need a Google account or a Gmail account. Once you have your Gmail account, which I'm sure most everybody has, you can go ahead and come over to YouTube and if you're not already signed in, you can sign in. Now, once you sign in, uh, it's going to look a little similar like you can see here. You'll have your uh, Google Plus notifications and things of that nature. Uh, your little picture over here looks a lot like your Google Plus picture because it probably is. So, this is the new layout Google just uh, released uh, last week, I believe. So, this is going to be the most current uh, iteration of YouTube as of... Uh, almost July 2014 and we're gonna start right here with the status features this first option here if you're just starting out you want to click it it's going to ask you to either um, have a text send to your phone or have a uh, voice message I guess a, a phone call uh, to your phone to give you a six-digit verification code so that you can verify your account which is a good thing because when you come down here there's a lot of things that are in green that were not in green before I verified now come back to creator studio and another thing that you want to do when we go to view channel here um, if I had any recent activity it would show here it would show people who have subscribed to me or who I've subscribed to and things that I've watched but if you notice some of the channels that you go to have a video that um, <coughs> excuse me that automatically plays and it's actually laid out pretty nicely with other videos that they've uploaded now for me it's nicer for somebody to come to my YouTube page and see my videos and current videos than it is for them to see who I've subscribed to or what I've liked and it took me a while to figure out where it was it's not very apparent but if you hover right over here click that and edit channel navigation it's going to take you to this nifty little channel navigation page and you want to click enable and now it is enabled and we're going to save and now had I had a video or something like that and it would show me all of my uploads here you could choose which video you want to play and then auto play it so there would be a channel trailer there you can add a section here you can add um, content uploads liked videos you can do whatever you want okay so now you've got your YouTube page kind of going and you want to make a custom URL something that uh, will you can link in your e Twitter or you can link in your Instagram or Facebook or whatever and I'm sure you've seen the custom URLs and it's really easy so if you didn't see that I went here I didn't go to creator studio I went to YouTube settings it's gonna pull up this overview now we're gonna go to advanced and channel settings right here and create custom URL so I want to be Joe 904 vlogs and create custom URL so now I am Joe 904 vlogs so if somebody goes to youtube.com backslash Joe 904 vlogs they'll come straight to my channel instead of having to have some generic URL that doesn't really say much about who you are or what you're doing so we're gonna come back over here and I've, of course I can just hit YouTube and it'll bring us back over here uh, but you can also hit Creator Studio. So now that you've got your custom URL set up and you have your page layout done, uh, which is stuff that you can do really without having anything uploaded, you can kind of get into the whole uploading thing. So we've got Create and Google actually has some pretty nifty little things. Um, they've got music that you can use. It's royalty free music and it's really not that bad. I mean, you can search by length you can search by mood genre instruments different things like that but something I didn't know is Google actually has its own little video editor now it's not gonna be like Final Cut Pro or uh, you know Adobe Premiere or something like that but had I known that that they actually had their own video editing software I probably would have started my channel a long time ago 
Um, I waited till I got a Mac so that I could use iMovie, which is pretty much all I need right now. Uh, but had I known that, I probably would have started sooner. So uh, I went ahead and uploaded a video already. Um, you have to upload the videos first, and you'll see them in this area here. And to do that, you'll click Upload, which is pretty much prevalent all the way throughout. And then you can either drag and drop. Um, let's see. Well, I guess you can, you can just drag and drop. I'm not sure if you can actually. Uh, well, you can search for stuff there. So, um, But anyhow, it's easy to drag and drop. And then you can choose whether you want it to be private, which I usually have private for... Uh, the time being and then once I've got everything finalized I go ahead and make it public but anyway you drag and drop it there and we're gonna go back to where you can edit and just drag and drop this down here and you can add music to this uh, you can do all sorts of things um, let's see if this will let us drag this out it's about eight minutes and th uh, let's turn that off for now uh, that's my Incipio Dual Pro review that I did. Uh, let's see, you can extend the length of the clip by this little thing right here. It'll actually show you. And then uh, I'm not going to go through everything on how to edit. I'm sure there's another video specifically on how to use the video editor. Just wanted to make you aware that there is a video editor. And uh, although it's not the best editing software, um, it does it does a fine enough job. I've used it a couple times just to edit some 4K video uh, because iMovie does not export 4K video and if I uh, took some 4K footage I'd kind of be screwed. I would be basically taking 4K footage for nothing and just cutting it and exporting it at 1080p. So anyway um, this video editor is here so that's a pretty handy feature and you can add music like I said and back over to the Creator Studio. Okay, so what you want to do is come to Channel and in Video Programming and you can add a watermark uh, which is the little, uh, there's a little square here, you can put a um, a picture of yourself or uh, whatever your um, you know, branding, whatever you can put there you can come here and add a feature video to the end of or to the beginning of or wherever you want it to pop up. Uh, most recent video you can choose a video so if you want to promote one of your other videos within your video this feature is what you do to do it. Um, I don't necessarily use this add a branding intro so I'm not really 100% sure on that but yeah so this is where you add your watermark and this is where you can promote uh, another one of your videos. Okay, so along with adding watermarks and uh, featuring a video uh, or playlist in your video, you can also add annotations. So let's see where our annotations are. I cannot remember for the life of me. I believe they're under Video Manager. Matter of fact, uh, if you come in here, you go to Video Manager and you come to your video, um, you'll see annotations right here. Now, annotations are pretty cool. You can do a lot of different things with them. You might see somebody who has like a like an end um, 10 or 15 seconds worth where it says thank you for watching, subscribe to me here, subscribe to me there. Um, they've actually custom made that and then imported it and played it at the end of their video. Now the way to get um, links and things like that in is through your annotations. So let's say you screwed up, you called this uh, Spigen Dual Pro and it's really an Incipio Dual Pro. Uh, you want to add an annotation. So you can add a node or a speech bubble. We'll just add speech bubble and I'll just say Incipio. So let's click over here, actually click right here. Incipio and you can make this longer you can move it around and let's just say you actually wanted to link this to the Amazon page where you purchased it uh, instead of you didn't screw up you knew it was in Scipio the whole time um, you just wanted to link this uh, just go down here to link 
and you know amazon.com backslash just copy and paste the link there and once you do that then this in your video will become a link and you can of course like I said wherever you put it that's where it's going to end up and you can actually start this link um, at a certain time in your video um, you can do things like that but here is where you can do the cool things like uh, link to somebody else's YouTube page if you do some sort of uh, giveaway with somebody else and, and uh, they're doing giveaway with you and they link to you and you link to them annotations is where it's at so you can correct certain things you can add um, extra information or you can um, go ahead and add links okay so I think that's probably about it we've covered a pretty good deal of stuff from creating a custom URL to um, actually setting up what your page looks like um, uploading videos doing some stuff with the video editing software that Google provides annotations um, all kinds of things so if this video helped you out in any way hit the like button hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always we'll see you next time